Spiral fill is a decorative fill that can be applied using a complex fill tool, a column tool or any of the predefined shapes. Using the reshape tool, you can drag the center node of the spiral to create some interesting effects. If you drag the node beyond the boundary of the original shape, it goes concave. Here's an example of how spiral fill can be used to add some creativity to an everyday design. I'll start by selecting the complex fill tool, making sure that spiral is enabled and I'll begin with a left click, followed by a right click for a curve and then a left click. I'll go back a step on myself there, a right click and a left click, back a step, right and a left, back a step, right, left, back a step, right, left, back a step, right for that curve, left, back a step, right for the curve, left, back a step, right for a curve and then left. I don't need to click back a step because I'll press enter to seal up the shape. There are no boundaries in this shape so I'm going to press enter. I'll hit enter point and exit point and the stitches are generated. Let's hide the artwork and see what we've got. By going back a step after each curve it's created those nice veins that go to the center of the web. If they need adjusting, just go to the reshape tool and drag out a node. That looks good, but maybe there's too many threads in the web, so we'll space them further apart. Right click on the spiral fill icon to bring up the parameters and we'll go from 2mm to 3mm. Press enter, that's better. And from here I'd go on to digitize the spider and the job's done.